Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Fidelis Inkeshita and in this video we are going to look at the fourth episode on how to draw a simple floor plan of a two bedroom apartment. But before we go on, I'd like you to subscribe to this channel and click the like button. You may as well share this video once we are through with it. And so we have a sitting, a living room, a bedroom, a toilet, a toilet, a bedroom, and a kitchen. Now we would want to introduce, you know, walls around this region, and then we also introduce some walls around here and here the idea behind it is to uh, improve the privacy of the toilets and so one way of doing this is by extending this wall these um, walls the lines the wall lines also for this part and so we can always adopt the lengthen command so once I click on the wall, I just need to place my cursor on the edge here. And these options will appear, stretch or lengthen. So let me click on lengthen. And then I'm required to type in the required length. So all I just need to do is I can introduce an extra wall length of 1000 millimeters. Remembering I also have to add the wall of 225 from the red point there so this is what i should get press enter and there you have it so we can also repeat the same command for the second wall and then click on lengthen I can either type in the word, either type in the length or I can drag to this point and then take it down and press enter. I'll still get the same result. Now, I can also repeat the same procedure here. All I need to do is click on this line and then on the edge, allow the options to show and then I'll click length in. I also introduce the 1225 wall length, and there I have it. And then I can also repeat the same. Oh, sorry. So I can also repeat the same command. And then lengthen. All I need to do is take it up there and then bring it down. Press enter. And there we have it. So all I need to do is to close the walls. Repeat for the second part. Now. I'll also need to introduce walls somewhere around here. Now, all I need to do is I'll go back to my command for line and I want to have, let's start from here. Let's take a length of 400, press enter, and then 225 and take it back and press enter now i can also repeat the same command from this axis i can i'm inside to just take this point drag sorry let's repeat this command i can decide to place my cursor on this edge point and then drag a little bit now the idea is that i want to bring out the door um, length or width 
900 and press enter now that means that from this point to this point will be the length of the door however i just need to look for a okay i can just type in 225 now the idea behind it is to allow this portion to be used as the doorway so i can still use my command and send this down can also use the same for the second part now i can copy this or mirror it in such a way that it should also reflect on this part so for me to use the mirror command i'll need to come to this tool here click on it and then the instruction is to select objects so i will drag sorry i will just click and then drag and then i press enter and then it's asking for the first point of a mirror line but all i just need to do is i can just come here look at this region here also place my cursor on this region and then i can locate the middle and then i can drag and press enter so i have my mirror uh image reflecting on the second part of the toilet walls and so i'll need to clean up some of these i'll use the trim command and then i will select some of the objects press enter then i'll begin to remove those unwanted edges so i can just click then i can also come here click and then also need to click on this i need to click on this now click on this so we also need to click on this so we'll leave these ones for now because they represent the outer boundaries of the doors so let's introduce let's introduce a door for the kitchen so without wasting time let's point, place our cursor at this point and then drag a little bit type 50 press enter and then i can always draw that and then the next thing is to use the offset command and then type 900 press enter and then select the object and take it down there we have it so in our next video we shall continue with some other features such as the we may work on the porch and we may also uh, use some of the commands including the text and dimensions and so i would like you to uh, share this video with friends and also click the subscribe button so i look forward to having you around in my next video bye for now